Welcome back everyone. Over the past few videos, we've learned how to replace the data option with the composition API. In this video, let's see how to replace the methods option. To get us started, in the components folder, I've created a file called methods.view since methods is the option we are trying to replace. Within the file, we have the code for a simple component. It contains the data option with one property called name set to Vishwas. The same is bound to the template using the mustache syntax. We also have a button called change name and on click of this button, we execute a method called set name. Set name is of course defined in the methods option in the component. Within the method body, we simply change name to code evolution from Vishwas. The component is included in app component. So if I head to the browser, we can see Vishwas and when I click on the button, it changes to code evolution. So this is how the methods option works in the component. Now let's learn how to replace this methods option with the composition API. To be honest, this is probably the easiest replacement when it comes to the composition API as all you have to do is define a function within the setup method and return it. It will automatically be considered as a method for the component. Let's look at two examples, one with the ref function to store data and the other with the reactive function to store data. Let's start with ref. In the script block, Import ref from view. Next, add the setup method, which is the entry point for the composition API. Within the method, let's define a new data value. Const count is equal to ref, and the initial value is zero. Let's also return it from the setup method. We can now bind count to the template. After this count, let me add a button to increment the count value. So button, the text is increment count and the click handler is going to be a function called increment count. Now we have to define this handler. And the way to do that with the composition API is to simply define it as a function within the setup method. So. After the const declaration, function increment count and within the function body, we increment the count value. Make sure to also return this function. If you now head back to the browser, the count is zero and when I click on the increment count button, the count value increments. We have replaced the methods option with the composition API. Now for the sake of completeness, let's also repeat the process, but this time with the reactive function. Begin by importing reactive from view. Next let's call the function and store a reactive reference. Let's call it state. This is going to be equal to reactive passing in an object with two properties. First name, Bruce, and last name, Wayne. In the return statement, we are going to spread the state as a reactive reference using the two refs function. So import two refs, and in the return statement, spread two refs passing in state as an argument. This allows us to bind first name and last name to the template without having to use state dot. So h2 tag find first name and last name. Below the h2 tag, let me add a button to change the first name and last name. So button, the text is going to be change hero and the click handler is going to be a function called change hero. Now we have to define this handler. So in the setup method, function change hero and within the function body, we set state.first is equal to Clark state.last 
is equal to kent. We don't need dot value as this is not a ref. Let's also return the function change hero. If you now save the file and head back to the browser, the hero name is Bruce Wayne. And when I click on change hero, it changes to Clark Kent. Our function is working as expected. So this is pretty much how you replace the methods option with the composition API. Define a function within the setup method and return it so as to use it in the template. Now you might have already realized, but you can see that we are starting to have logical parts of a feature together instead of being spread out across the file. So everything is in one place. In fact, you can move this code around so that count functionality is together and the hero functionality is together. That is grouping by features. Now we still have a long way to go when it comes to the composition API. So let's continue in the next video.